Hey guys, have you ever fallen into this trap of this error that bugs you all the day and you can't kind of even able to sleep or study? Because these problems are very very annoying, like when it says the net has only one pin, then complete whatever it is, or even the off-grid issue, stuff like that. They are very annoying, isn't it? And you are probably the one who is suffering from suffering from it a lot. Because I was in the same shoes as you, and trust me. It was not a fun journey to be in. It's super annoying. You have no clue what is going on because look at this. So this is my first problem, right? I mean, if I click on it, it's gonna show me something here. Well, good. But the, but the craziest part is the problem is not even here. None of the problem even lies here, but it's showing you the, the error is there. Even same goes from here as well. So if I click on this one, look, I trust me, this is not even the problem. This are not, not even the problem. And now, as a guy, you're gonna just keep getting angry, like, what I have just done wrong, right? There is a very, very great way of verifying what's really going on, and you definitely have some make some mistake. And that's the only thing I keep telling in my videos, that always make sure that you have the correct grid size. Work with 100 mils, just 100 mils, okay? Maybe you can go to 50 mils, maybe you can go to 100, no, 10 mils, that's perfectly fine. But please don't use 55, please don't use 25. I mean, you can sure work on it, but it's, it's definitely gonna give you some problem later on. I mean, if you are not consistent, it's gonna definitely give you a problem, please, 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 please. So what I did intentionally, I run some of my components in 22 mils and, and I just did some crazy bird so that I can intentionally create this problem okay so that i can make the video and there's many way to fix it and the first one is you have to always do this one so first um i don't know if you know it maybe you do know it so if i click on if i if i show you this part you can definitely see um if you just do control and g i, I guess no 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 maybe just g so if you just click on g for a couple of times you might see like it's changing from 10 50, 10 then 50 and 100 right well, that's a great thing, but how you can make sure is everything is on the grid. So the only way to do it is you have to do Control and A. So once you select all of them, now you're gonna make sure that in here is set as 100, okay? And now since everything is selected, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna move it around like that, okay? Just to make sure this everything is on the grid, okay? Now once I do it, you might think everything probably has fixed. And trust me, it it fixed most of the problem. It helps you to see most of the problem. I think almost all of the problem, it will help you to see. If anything is goes wrong with your component or the placement of it. Which is pretty cool. So just to verify that we still have the problem or still don't have the problem, we're just gonna go here and click on validate the PCB. And it turns out we still do have the problem. So that basically gives us a assurity that none of the none of the placement of the component is wrong everything is set to 100 mils super great but what's the problem well now it's time for you to check your NAT levels and the way you can check your NAT levels is basically check each of them but by, by moving it like if I move this one see how it's kind of moving with me right if I do the same thing here uh, same thing here see how it's kind of moving with me if I click on the NAT levels and try to move it around so the same goes for here as well right it's kind of moving with me that's pretty good but if I do this one, look at this, it's just moving by itself. Now, what is the problem? It's because it's not really attached to it because when I initialize it, I probably had it in the wrong way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna just do the same thing, Control and X, Control and V, and Trana probably will put somewhere that shows the red, maybe here or maybe here. I'm just gonna put here for now. And okay, cool, let's save it and let's try to see what we are getting. Let's go to project. Let's do validate the project. Well, let's click on the message so that it can show it. And guess what? Our average is gone. So this is a basically this is the fix. Okay. So we just make sure you have the right net levels. Make sure you have the right component placements, and always work with the grid size hundred. Okay. And this is how you can fix your most of the problem. Thanks for watching. See you on the later videos.